Hey Leo, how are you? We're doing your life's purpose in a nutshell, believe it or not, um, only a few cards. It's not an easy feat, but um, so far it's been conclusive with um, all the prior signs. It's kind of general and yet super specific, so it won't apply for everybody, which is fine. But you do have to work with me and, you know, look at it with your own eyes and through your own life's ex experience, obviously. Uh, to make it work right or to feel that it resonates for you so the idea here is one major arcana and out of the same deck I'm drawing a minor and then we're going to do one card out of a makeshift deck keywords on blank cards and integrate the three so that's the setup now let's just do this and look at you Leo what have you been put on this earth to do what is your true purpose? The chariot. You probably love to travel. But before I say any more, I do want to go and fetch the minor arcana to complement um, this card. cards fell they didn't flip and I really want to pull I just want to make sure I shuffle well first one card fell I'm gonna take that one <laughs> okay this is the eight of swords okay I do need a little moment just for the Eight of Swords. Okay, you know what I'm sensing here? So the chariot is about traveling, getting out there, being uh, in motion, also feeling successful, feeling like you are, are really succeeding in whichever endeavor you're interested in, whatever um, you've invested your, in yourself in. Whether even throughout your life, when you were in school, how you succeeded in school, then your first job, your subsequent jobs, even I wanna say your relationships, I wanna say this touches all areas of your life. but. We're looking at your life's purpose, so most probably a vocation, most probably a career. A career. So I still want to tell you that the way you've been focused on succeeding, uh, the way you've been moving yourself towards the, these, this goal, um, and the main goal being, I just want to be successful no matter what I do. So there's something here for you, Leo, about kind of learning or knowing about yourself that you're driven more about success than what it is that you're really doing. So whether that's good or bad, we do have the Eight of Swords coming up uh, to clarify this uh, energy I was describing. So to turn it, to really spin it positively, this Eight of Swords is reining you in, which is really great because the chariot could have you like basically go around the globe in any direction for any reason, wanting to succeed to succeed, right? So it's like saying being in love with love. In your case, it's being, you know, succeeding for succeeding. So what I like about the Eight of Swords is bringing you back to a center. Because when you think about, especially on this card, the way the swords are drawn, you really see a center. So it's like sort of your life's purpose is you're gonna need to narrow down that particular core for you. You cannot keep 
pursuing uh, success, uh, you know, like, oh, a little bit here, a little bit there, like, this is sort of scattered energy. But you have the capacity, you have the willpower, you have the energy, you have the stamina on the chariot to actually succeed in anything that you do. It's just a matter of really finding what it is. So to help you define what that is, so for other signs so far I've been drawing, the industry didn't really matter in turn because, like I said, I cannot uh, pinpoint everybody. It's impossible, <laughs> especially in a nutshell reading and especially in a general reading. This is not a one-on-one, -on -one, right? So, but uh, what I do want to tell you is that it involves something that, you know, if you think about the Rider Waite depiction of the Eight of Swords, um, the lady is blindfolded. Um, so she doesn't, she's blind to what it is that she feels trapped by. She's blind also to who she is and her qualities and whatnot. So one of your life's purpose, I'm going to spin it differently for you, is maybe helping others succeed, helping others recognize what they're talented in, helping others see what it is that makes them who they are, the fabric of their being, um, their qualities, their strengths, all of that is tied in with the chariot. So you would be a driving force, a good mentor, a beautiful teacher, it could be, let's say, one avenue, um, a counselor. You would have like so many different ways, coach, um, influencer, any kind of job where you basically take something, someone, mostly people here. I don't know why I'm sensing, maybe because the chariot is the... The energy of the chariot is the moon. The moon is about emotions. I think you care. Um, you know, the Leo is about the heart. So definitely, I think you, you'd you be more interested in valuing people and making them recognize their own talents. And by doing so, you're becoming absolutely... Um, you touch your own gift. And then instead of you just trying to succeed in different um, domains and uh, trying to recreate yourself all the time, you might actually find that this becomes the baseline for you that um, your own gift is about revealing people to themselves. Um, maybe also making them um, explode um, their rigid thinking about what they think success means, what it, what they think um, they should be doing for themselves uh, in their own life. Like, you know what I mean. So let's draw out of the makeshift card here. See if one really flips for you. <laughs> and one did. <laughs> it's vitalité is vitality. So... It's amazing because it's all this energy that you'd be able to, you know, you're the you're a fire sign for one. Um, vitality, I mean, when you think about it, like the heart is like pumping the blood in your body. So it's, it kind of tells you, you know, like you're alive. <laughs> the heart's beating. So it's super important for you. Um, you want to feel alive and you want people to feel alive. You want people to feel like they're not just zombieing their life through, right? <laughs> or through their life, I should say, you know, um, like walking dead, right? So you want to enliven people, you want to wake them up, uh, you basically, <laughs> it's all of that. It's really beautiful. I really see you in the role of um, those different um, jobs I was mentioning before, you know, coach, mentor, teacher, etc., counselor, blah, blah, blah. Um, even like manager, like an artist manager. Um, I, there's so many avenues, but um, you would be excellent at that, really, truly. So I hope something resonated in here for you. Please share that with me. If anything resonated, I really love to hear from you guys for one, but especially on a reading like this, um, I want to know how it touches you, um, how it plays out in your life, in, you know, in real life. <laughs> so thank you for sharing, uh, liking the video. If you did enjoy the video, um, 
subscribing if you haven't, but mostly commenting on this one, please. So I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.